I want to share with you how I tackle my frown lines without using Botox. I have always had a very strong um, frown muscle right here. And so I wouldn't have necessarily 11s. I'd have like a really angry, crooked one. <laughs> and so I have had a couple of experiences with Botox. The first time I tried it, it was incredible. Initially, the only thing I didn't like is that it almost makes your forehead heavier looking or something. It was, it was kind of strange, but it lasted for maybe a couple of weeks. And then, you know, and then that kind of went away and I really had a nice smooth forehead. And I want to say I was probably maybe 48 when I did this. And it was the very first time, and I am not kidding you, the results lasted for, I want to say, nine months. It was crazy. And so, it, I enjoyed it. Um, I, I'm not sure why I didn't do it again um, until probably when I was 51, I think. I think was the second time I did it. And so when I went in, he, again, I noticed that kind of heaviness, but the, you know, the lines and everything were still there and it really didn't seem to do much. And so I went back in and, and the doctor added even more Botox and it made a little bit of an effect, but it really not like the first time. And so I also noticed that it didn't last nearly as long, maybe two to three months. I, I'm not quite sure, but I, I really wasn't that satisfied with it. So I, I guess I never really tried it again. What I did start looking into, being the DIYer that I am, is things, you know, other ways you can do it at home. And so one of the products that I had come across are these frowny facial patches. And these have been around forever. And they have all sorts of different kinds. These are the only ones I use. But these go, you know, right on your forehead. And this is something you have to figure it's a, a temporary solution. So you, I, I like to think of it as like you're ironing your skin and you put this patch on and you go to bed because that's actually where I get that line from is because I'm a side sleeper and everything kind of gets squished and I wake up with a very deep furrow there. So when I wear these, I, I put them on, I wake up and it's, it's smooth. Generally, more times than not, I would say I wear my frownies, but I don't necessarily wear them every night. So it's not something that you have to do, but if I stopped using them, the frown lines are going to come back. It's about trying to prevent your your wrinkles from starting to get etched in. So when you're making those dynamic um, creases in your skin over and over and over again, eventually a wrinkle is gonna form. And, and once they're etched in, they're very, very hard to get out. But like I say, I've, I've had luck with this. Is it per, you know perfectly gone? No, but it looks a lot better than if I didn't use them. And I want to say you get these little packs and there's 144 patches. Um, and this box costs me about 20 bucks. So I've really been enjoying that 
Botox hack because I'm not putting anything into my into my system and I'm getting basically the same effect. Now, when I did do Botox, I was more concerned just about this area. At that time, I wasn't getting the horizontal lines. And those have started to come in within the last few years. And I haven't gone back in to maybe see if, if, if Botox would help with that. Again, being the DIYer that I am, I've looked online to see you know, some other options. One, one thing I've seen is the SAO, S-I-O patches. And you can get this patch that goes, they have them for all over your face. One's your forehead, one even your neck. Because uh, as well, I, you know, have started developing my neck lines and, and the neck is a completely different, very complicated beast. And I have not found a solution for that one. But for my forehead, I tried the, the Sio patch. It was okay. They're made from like a medical grade silicone. They're the same principle of, of temporary. They're laying your skin, you know, they're, they're providing your skin um, like this support while you sleep. And then you wake up very, very refreshed looking. And of course, throughout the day, you're going to be making your expressions and things like that. And those lines will come back. But if it's um, on a more routine basis of, of um, using the patch, it just helps keeping them at bay. I didn't particularly like the patch. Um, what you do is you wear, you wear it and then each day it loses more and more of its stickiness and it felt kind of heavy um so and they're very very expensive and so I was like gosh there's got to be another solution and I remember watching this one gal that I absolutely love Alexandria Arelli I think is her name she's also a youtuber and she does beautiful makeup and she was talking about how uh, she she uses these, and some other some other options that she was talking about. And one of the things that she had mentioned was that she had bought this one product, and it was basically like tape. And it got me thinking, hmm, maybe tape will work. And I did buy a roll of this medical grade silicone tape, and these work fine again they have a different feel just like the sio where it almost feels like it's just going to fall off because it's kind of a little bit on the heavier side they stick but they're not like in place like when you add the the frowny patch it's adhered on it's and i will i'll show you how i put it on but it's almost like imagine an envelope where you've got the sticky side that uh, you wet and that's what sticks. So it really hold and then it's it's denser than paper, but not quite like cardboard. So it's it's thin, it's got some some strength to it. So when you put it on, it sticks there. So I thought I would try using my scotch tape. And I do have to say, I, I actually like the results, but I'm being um, realistic about the results. So have they taken away my horizontal lines? No. They're still there. They're just a little bit softened. And so I think mine are etched in and... and other than getting maybe either Botox, possibly might remove them, I'm not sure, or a brow lift, I'm probably going to have them. But can I improve the appearance of them by using this technique? Yes. And it's very affordable. And it's something that you can do at home. Now, as for the neck, 
like I say, I, I haven't tried the Sio patch. I, like I said, I wasn't really that impressed. One thing that I did try, however, was using tape on my neck and I definitely discourage you from doing that. When I went to remove, first of all, it creates more wrinkles there. It's uncomfortable. Your neck is just, it's a, it's a really hard area to tackle. Um, but actually when I went to remove the tape, skin lifted as well. And so that just shows you how fragile your skin is. Um, even when I use the tape on my forehead, I have to be very careful to pull it off because you can actually take a little bit of, of skin with you with it. So it's like, just be aware of that. All right, so now I am going to show you how I I prepare for bedtime. The first thing I do before going to bed is try to get my hair up and out of the way. Okay. Now, you can use a square like that. That's generally what I use. There's times when I only use, cause they're, they break up even in half. So you could just use it right there if you wanted to as well. Um, but I generally will wet it, but since there's no water, I'll just. And then you wanna kinda stretch out your skin Set it in there and then kind of hold it in place until it, it dries. Okay. And I definitely recommend just running the that side under water a little bit, um, shaking off any excess and then just holding it in place until it, until it um, adheres. Then what I like to do is then take the tape and lift up here and put it there. And this also helps keep the frowny on. Although the frowny stays on pretty, pretty well. It's, it's not that bad. So I put them on on each side And then right there. And then I head off to bed. <laughs> I obviously am someone who doesn't mind looking ridiculous when I go to bed. I know a lot of people probably are like, there is no way I'm going to do that. What happens if there's a fire and I have to run out of the house? I look ridiculous. But if you're like me and you don't care and you you want to make a, a few, you know, some minor improvements on that area, this has been working for me. So I thought I would share that with you. I, um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I hope you have a great day.